Hey, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shock, bringing you my first ever weekend league gameplay. Um, like I said, I never really played weekend league before. I never really felt like my team could stack up, but it got to the point where my team's actually looking pretty good. You can see my team's way better than this guy. This is my first game. Luckily, um, I got a really favorable matchup. Uh, I had a lot of games where I was playing against like 95 overall Randy Mosses, and uh, everybody's seen that Randall Cunningham run around like crazy. Uh, but for the most part, the games that I got were against really good teams. Uh, and I would say against tough competitors. But to be honest, I mean, there were some good players. I definitely played some good players. I really liked playing Weekend League because at least every game I really had a challenge, which was nice. Um, I really got to see what a lot of the cheese that people run out there uh, to win games. And uh, a lot of people got to see my cheese because it gets to a point when you're playing so many games in such a short amount of time, you really just become like system. You just like run the same stuff over and over and over. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was really cool. I had a really good time in the Weekend League. I'm definitely going to put more time aside next time um, so that I can... Uh, get into um you know because i only played like i almost played like 15 16 17 games something like that i left a lot of games out there um, because i i used this weekend to record my eagles ebook uh which will be out soon for you guys uh, but either way so first drive i get i gotta take a field goal you see there um i've almost threw a pick there i mean i i have some games that will be coming out here pretty soon where i make a lot of mistakes some of them i still win some of them i don't um but like i said i'll bring those to you guys uh, you know, I recorded pretty much every game in the weekend league. Like I said, it was, it was a really good time. If you guys have never tried it, you really should. Um, either way, uh, he's got, I mean, this guy, like you said, doesn't have a great team. He's got, like, some AJ Perrine out there running back, uh, which I think is, like, the most feared strong version. So he's not a horrible running back, but who cares about having a strong running back? So this here, I don't know what happens. His quarterback drops back, and he just, like, doesn't move and gets popped. Uh, so it goes to fourth and sixth, and for whatever reason, he decides to run and hurry up. If something really strange and fluky happens to me, I'm going to let it go to huddle and choose a new play. Uh, and this guy goes, and for whatever reason, it happens again. The, the, he just doesn't drop back, and the defensive tackle uh, gets right through. And I've seen that before, but twice back-to-back. -back, I mean, that guy's just not lucky. He probably thought I was, like, cheating or something. He probably thought I was glitching him or something crazy to do that. But I swear I didn't do anything. I don't, I don't know what happened there. So here, I get ball back. I'm going to hit him with a nice, strong power out of the pistol. This play is so money. Uh, get a nice big play by my man Tevin Coleman. I mean, I have a higher rated running back in Adrian Peterson, but for whatever reason, he just doesn't get it done like Tevin Coleman. He doesn't have the speed Tevin Coleman does. I use him. I switch him in and out. Sometimes I put Tariq Cohen in there, too. Uh, budget Beast Tariq Cohen. I mean, there's a lot of really good um, options. Uh, but either way, so third and one, he's going to, um, you know, I think he runs the ball here. I mean, he, he was definitely a pound the ball guy, and that wasn't a good idea, especially going lateral with Samaj Perrine. So fourth and three here, I'm trying to set up this blitz. This blitz here, I'll bring out pretty soon, you guys. It's, it's essentially a nano. I feel like I found the only nano. I get stuck trying to make my last adjustment. He could have threw it to that dude right there, but I guess he thought he had him, and at the last second, being blocked and all, I jump up and tap it away. I mean, that was just clutch, because that would have been an easy completion. The middle was wide open, and I guess he thought that I had the first guy covered which i didn't and then he threw the second guy and i really didn't have that guy covered either but for whatever reason i was watching the ball and i made a play in it so that was definitely epic um here i'm trying to put the game away with the same toss play everybody runs this toss play in weekend league i just like i said there was so much nice cheese out there a couple of them i'm going to take uh you know it was, it was nice playing against like proper players like i feel like sometimes you get a lot of bums which you don't really get too much of in weekend league uh, but this first game here, uh, you know, I'm definitely having my way. So I'm basically trying to, um, you know, this guy, tight. that particular play, he was shifting crazy to the one side to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm going to hit him with this counter. And I had a wide open backside there. So here, this is one of my more favorite plays. I run this a lot. He's stepping up. I'm stepping up and bang. I saw that dude, two guys in the back of the end zone. Um, and I was just waiting for one of them to clear and uh, dot him up with uh, Mariota thrown across his body on the run. Mariota's really good at some stuff like that. He can't do certain things like pass leading, but he can definitely do that. And that dude had enough. So second game gets a little bit more serious. The next guy up. Um, has a little bit of a better team. He actually has a better team than I do if you do the math. I mean, he has a higher rated Gronkowski, uh, which is the highest rated card on the board. Uh, but right here, I mean, I don't know what I was doing. I, try, I should have passed, let it up. I, the dude was running to the sideline. I get nothing there. So not the best first play. Um, I'm trying to work out my, uh, my cover three one play touchdown because this dude is um, definitely... Um, you know, coming out in a cover three, it's easy to see. And I got to I throw it up and, you know, back to back plays starting off the game, not very strong. So here we go. We're going to run still one of my more favorite plays. And he just gets a nice shed inside and just gets right in my face. I mean, I don't, you know, what I'm saying I don't know what's going on here. Next play, 
kick meter lag. You know what I'm saying? I try to I try to uh, punt him deep, and I don't even it doesn't even register. Now he's got the ball basically at the at the 50. So I'm trying to set up my next little. Like I said, I'm gonna call it a nano because it's it's a nasty blitz. Uh, works against the run pretty good too. As you can see there, he gets nothing. Um, he's got a good he's got a good team. Todd Gurley 86 overall is a really good card. Um, you know, it's it, like I said, I saw like Marshall Fox 91. I saw a lot of really crazy cards uh, this weekend. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hit him with another uh, double inside blitz. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if the coverage got in the way. Uh, but he's going for it again because, like I said, in Weekend League, I'm the only person that punts the ball. <laughs> you can see that it worked out. But everybody goes for it for whatever reason. And he actually, you know, I thought he might have got it there. I mean, Madden been screwing me all game. But on that one, they said his knee was down. Thank God. So here we go. First and 10. I got to get some points. I'm still running the same play. Uh, for whatever reason, man, my guy just aren't catching my whole offense right now i feel like i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing but they're just they're just like a mutiny against me right now so we're gonna hit him with this nice toss play i mean this thing's pretty money uh works every time gets me to a third and short i'm um, still trying to work this uh you know i'm pretty much running the same place i apologize to people that are like man you run the same place over and over and over i'm gonna run but people stop them i only need a yard there so here i'm trying to work those inside runs and uh you know i, I my dude almost like knocks the quarterback over <laughs> falling out i get a nice run up the middle a lot of holes right there uh almost must take it a little bit further try to do a little juke to get a couple more yards uh, but basically you know this play the original play was supposed to be a pass but i just saw some opportunity in the run and, and a lot of times people in these weekend leagues don't respect your run game um, it's definitely a pass heavy affair but uh, you still gotta you know you still gotta step correct so here he's coming out he's pinching that line so i'm gonna go back to that original play i believe in that play hitting the running back underneath again i mean nice catch and run plays man you gotta play smart take what the defense gives you and i'm definitely doing that so we're gonna go we're gonna finish this off with an inside run doesn't quite get it, but you know what? Looking at that defensive front, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I know I can get that yard. You know what I'm saying? 30 inches. Uh, I still think I got Tevin Coleman out there, uh, which, you know, in a situation like this, I probably want to put AP, but I want to give him the opportunity to load up against that run, stack that box. So we'll take that first down nice and easy. Uh, here we go in the second quarter. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like I definitely got a touchdown uh, coming here. I'm going to roll out. You know, usually good things happen when I roll out with Mariota here. He just whiffs, and, and I just take it in for a nice stroll, man. That's just like a jog for Mariota uh, once he misses that big play. I don't know if he could have hit the right click and sent another guy to back him up there, uh, but once I got around him as a user, it was game over. So here he's trying to run. I'm still running this blitz. Like I said, I can run this blitz pretty much all game. It stops the run and stops the pass uh, pretty good to an extent. Here you can see it's all over that streak. Um, you know what I'm saying? This, this is one of the better... Um, it's got really good coverage. It's great blitz, but it's got really good coverage too. So here, he has a little bit of, uh, you know, he's a lot of time in the pocket. He's going to try to roll out, step up. I'm sending a blitzer now late, and I don't even think he gets a yard there. Maybe he does. Maybe he gets, yeah, he gets a couple yards. Fourth and eight, though, I just get the feeling he's going to go for it again. So um, I, I just, I don't even take him on. I, I come out on a regular defense. He should have saw that. You know what I'm saying? When you, if you come out with a fake like this guy does, you're not going to try to run it against somebody who's in a regular defense, and luckily the guy knocks the ball out. So, a couple minutes to half. I'm thinking I could just take the lead here um, and keep it moving. I, I didn't plan on running the ball. But once again, he's coming out in this pass-heavy defense. So, I'm going to keep you know trying to pound the rock. And it didn't really work. He actually shut the run down pretty good. That's why it's third and five um, as I'm trying to get this first down here. Uh, hit that running back again. I mean, it's just, you know what I'm saying? That play is so many. Look at that juke, by the way, man. That's just a nasty juke. Two guys just going, you know what I'm saying, breaking both ankles like, uh, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? That, it's, that, th that shouldn't be so overpowered. I mean, that's, let's keep it real. So this is a play here. I actually got this play um, from one of my Patreons was running against me. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people uh, through my Patreon, and, and he was running this against me. It was really successful. So I put in my own playbook. I, I was it's in, the, it's in the Saints book. I didn't even know it. Um, and had success there. It gets me to touchdown. So uh, minute 42 left. This guy here is definitely in desperation mode. I don't even remember who gets ball. Um, if I got ball first or he got ball first. But uh, I know that uh, I'm in a situation where I really got to... Uh, you know, I don't want him to get back into this game. I want to start start closing this out. Um, and now he's starting to run this play that I'm not even sure what this play was. But uh, he was starting to have success with it. And he runs it over and over and over and over. And uh, here he just does it again. He runs something deep that I chase. And then he hits me with this, like, check down receiver right over the middle in the area that I vacated. So, and, and he's running in a hurry up. So I don't really have a chance or an opportunity um, to come up with an adjustment. Here I actually do come with an adjustment. And now he hits me with a run. That's uh, So I'm a play behind. That's typically... Uh, uh, when you're in trouble on defense if you're not anticipating what's happening so here's second and two now i'm thinking he's going to run the ball again he's having success why not so i'm sending an inside uh mid blitz 
Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm guessing that, that he's going to keep up with that. And sure enough, he does. So we get the hit stick fumble. I don't get the ball back, though. I'm not that lucky right now. Um, but you know what I mean? It, it, I'm shutting him down. Third and two. Here, this guy has all the time in the world. Uh, and he hits me with that that uh, the same play. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't figured that out. Looking at the diagram, I, I mean, I sat on it a little bit better, but I didn't have the athleticism to get back under it. So here, this is probably the same play, but he doesn't have the same room. So he just waits a little bit too long and throws it right to one of my zones. Don't you hate when you try to flip your hips and run and the computer does that to you? I mean, that's just so annoying. Uh, but either way, that's enough for him with 12 seconds left and a half. Uh, like I said, you, don't only, you only have so much time in weekend league to get your games in. So I, there's a lot of people quitting. But I have a lot better games coming up after this. Uh, if you guys want to see him, I had some outstanding moments on defense, offense, some crazy stuff in the weekend league. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.